Now in this exercise, we are going to configure RPC over HTTP or HTTPS. So in early exercise, we do configure ISA server to pass through RPC, but this exercise will show how to configure RPC over HTTP using a tunnel. So first, let's go back to our Denver server. We need to enable the RPC service. Go into your control panel and select add remove program okay so we need to add remove window component select the uh, networking services click on the detail and select RPC over HTTP proxy now this have to enable first click on OK click on the next and install the service okay so finish already close it next let's go to our IIS expand Denver, expand the web service extension as you can see from here RPC proxy server extension is allowed uh, this is the service that we uh, installed just now let's go back to our web services expand uh, the uh, default web page highlight default web site and you're able to see the uh, RPC right click on RPC go to your properties we do have the uh, directory securities click on the edit alright so you can see from here this is the uh, SSL okay so let's check on the uh, SSL click on the OK now we can always view the certificate Remember that this is a certificate that uh, we already installed in our default site earlier on. So this is our URL, denver.condoso.com. Now click on the edit under the authentication and access control. Uncheck the anonymous access. Uncheck the integrated window. Now if you want to use the RPC over HTTP, they only can uh, allow the basic authentication. So select yes and OK and OK let's close our IIS now next we need to go to our um, command prompt to change our port so let's go to start run command and uh, we need to go to our tools here resource kit okay there's our CD C drive tools rest kit okay now I want you to type this command RPC CFG now this is a resource kit um, application this is to show our RPC port setting which is the default from 100 to 5000 now we need to remove this range and we need to reassign a new range so now we use the the same command instead of HD we use the HR Denver this will remove the uh, current port setting and the Denver is our NetBIOS name okay so we remove already now we are going to add in a new range HA the port that we are going to use will be 593 6001 6002 and 6004 enter we also want to have another 
um, URL well, our fully qualified domain name which in this case is Denver dot contoso dot com so basically it's the same but this is the uh, netbars name and this is our fully qualified domain name and let's check our port now to see if it's correct so yes it is correct Denver and Denver Condoso dot com now another way for you to check our port will be using the write command registered command query h key locker machine software Microsoft RPC RPC proxy okay so again you can see that it's registered properly so let's exit our uh, command prompt over here next we need to change our global catalog in the Denver so we need to change the registry so please be careful over here and type the right edit let's go to the HQ local machine expand it alright then go into the system current control set services NTTS alright you can just type N to go to the NTTS Okay, and you're able to see the uh, parameters. Let's expand it. On the parameters, we are going to create a new multi string value. Alright, so under the multi string value over here, we need to type this command, this value, sorry, NSPI interface protocol sequence sequences NSPI interface protocol sequences make sure that the uh, spelling is correct and over here the value that we are going to use will be NCACN underscore HTTP colon 6004 which tell our global catalog to listen to port number 6004 for RPC connection alright make sure that it's correct 6004 not 6006 NCACN HTTP colon 6004 we click OK and uh, make sure that the whole string is correct NSPI interface protocol sequences with a value NCACN HTTP 6004 and let's quit our registry okay done now once you have done this you have to res restart your server so let's restart our server now select restart okay so on the command you just type some uh, command over here and restart so while we restarting our server we need to go back to the forensic computer to set our policy